long time since you've seen my face on this channel, I think. Probably had different hair color last time I did a video that wasn't just a voiceover. So today I have been seeing a lot of things going around about AI writing and like artificial intelligence um, story writing and stuff. And I was thinking about how to do a build related to this because I love random. I love trying to do something, a random build generator or a build challenge or whatever, right? So I thought, what if we took a random build generator description, put it into an AI writer, and then see what they add to it? And if we can get some like more information and I have to make the house or style or items that this writer will put out. So I don't know if this is going to work. I did some testing and it seems a little bit like 50-50 on the answers and text it writes, but kind of curious if we can do this for videos and I can turn a house into something cool made from an AI that wrote about it, right? So we're going to use this build generator. I'll link it in the description below. It's simstation.ca and it's like a great build generator if you want random ideas or a random challenge. This is a great way to go about it. So what we're going to do is make sure we have all my packs selected. I do not have, I don't think I have kids room. I don't think I have my first pet stuff. I did get machine all recently, so that's good. I think I don't have like the kids stuff. And then we're going to have two or three special things in it. One to eight Sims, range of simoleons, whatever, it doesn't matter. They don't have the newest pack anyway, but I don't have the wedding stories pack. I refuse to buy it for now. I guess let's see what the generator tells us. Build a tiny green 64 tile house in Strangerville with a lot trait geothermal for three Sims. A tiny home for three Sims? Ugh. With a budget of 75. Okay, good. At least we have the money. At least the money budget is there. Has to have a gym, a photography studio, and a home theater. It's going to be a little interesting. But let's see what the AI says that we should add. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, wish us luck. So basically, we just copy and paste it in here, and it should generate some information. This is the article. I'm trying to get something funny. I don't know. I don't know what the plan. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is ask it questions and then we're going to we're going to do what it says. So like, how should I decorate my living room? It says just like the photo. Light is good and the picture is nice. Yes, I agree it's nice, but should you put light on the pictures? I mean, they don't look quite good. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Let me see if I could get a better response. Oh, here we go. How about this one? I've got a huge room. I'm trying to find a, a neutral room. I don't know. I want color though. Okay, I'm going to try this other generator because I didn't like what that one was doing. It wasn't really giving me the right answers. I think I remembered this one actually gave me like objects and stuff. So we're going to copy and paste the information here about the house and what it must include. And they're going to give me like more details. Hopefully. Hopefully if all goes well. I feel like sometimes I try this, it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is not what I want. What is this? Larger city, a sim city, reborn, a town of strangers. Did it just make up a new game from Strangerville and the Sims? That's not a real thing. Okay. Whoa. $150 billion. No, I'm definitely not going to spend that much. Change of plans. I'm going to follow this build generator. Let's just start there and figure out what we're going to do with the AI because it's not really helping me right now. What the heck? All right, we are in Strangerville. We have three Sims, but I don't even remember their names. I randomly generated them from the gallery. We have Salty O'Donovan, this girl, Guillaume Chevalier. I probably should have looked at that name before. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but they're going to be dating. And then Ninfedora Jensen is going to be like the young adult college roommate. And they're all going to live in this tiny house. This tiny house has to have home gym, photography studio, home theater. So I think a lot of this is going to be like kind of outdoor. And then I'm going to use the AI to like sprinkle in ideas. But I'm going to get the basic idea of the house done first. So I know 64 tiles is not very much. It's not enough tiles. It sucks. Let me just see exactly how much is 64 tiles. It is at 30. Okay, so 64 is like the middle tier of tiny homes, which isn't as bad. We're probably going to do small wall height. I will probably do two story. It might end up having to look a little Victorian because of the area we're in. I feel like that would make sense, but I don't know exactly shape wise. So give me a moment to figure this out. Okay, so this is 64 tiles. Don't know if the, we're going to keep this shape 100%, but I kind of don't hate it. That's basically the space we have to work with. 
And then I'm going to have to do a lot of like patio areas around it to fit in an outdoor kind of garage home gym. And the photography studio, I think, would also be good being outside because this counts as tiles, right? Yeah, okay. So those count as tiles. But if we were to just do, say, you know, cement and have like an area off the side, these don't count as like tile tiles, right? So let's raise you up, get you a little bit of height. We want you to match the area and they have pretty high foundations. Maybe do the second story medium wall height too, but I might change that later. So the idea, yeah, is to do that. We'll do some roof pieces over here. Something to make it, oh no, you can't do platforms because those cost tiles. So we are just going to have to do roofs, which is fine. It's uh, not maybe ideal, but we'll make it work. I'm not, I'm worried, but not like horrendously worried. Something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know if this makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna try to use mainly Strangerville and then of course for the other packs for stuff, but like for decorating, we're gonna try to stick to Strangerville just to kind of fit with everything else. Okay, which one of these do we want? I like this one. This one looks like more interior. This one could be outside. Let me figure out how this is gonna look, but the idea is to basically have there be some columns, have this be like an outdoor area. Can we do a fence around it maybe? Let me put base game on too. Base game and supernatural will be the main look of this house, plus like the photography studio, we get to use Machino. The gym, fitness stuff pack probably would be used, stuff like that. But I'll try to limit the pack so it's not like crazy amount of stuff, okay? Let me see what I can do here. All right, I think I've kind of got this roof. Eh, well, hold on. A little bit too far on the end there. There we go. I was like, something felt weird. I like the roof here. I did remember that this has to be green. So I am making sure to make this as green as possible on the outside. I know it's not like a solid build challenge or anything. So I'm not like down here. I'm not going to have it be green, but it's going to have the green trim and then maybe like a light green wood for the siding. We have this type of green. I don't love that. What about the siding siding? This one. We need more shades of green. <laughs> Anyone else agree? We have the darker green, which is okay. Or we have seasons, but it's just so dark. I think I want it to be brighter. Why don't we have a good lighter green? Okay, how about like, I'm probably gonna use spot A anyway. So I was like, I was trying not to use it, but it may be the best color. Like that color kind of fits a little bit better, right? Like it's brighter. I think it kind of works. I don't know. All right, so let me finish off this roofing part. If I bring this in by two squares, I would have a little bit more space. So we're just going to delete that. Now we have two more rooms to deal with. You see the idea of like having an outdoor little like gym patio area? I think that's going to look cool. I'm not sold on the hedges yet, but I like the idea of it being a little bit more private. I will tweak as I go to make sure... It looks exactly how I want it to. And then, oh, I gotta do the top roof real quick. I think we're just gonna keep it simple. Easy. There we go. Trim. The trim could make or break it too. Do we have a good green trim? If we don't have green, I'm gonna go with white. Yeah, I'm gonna just do white then. I don't care. I don't feel like dealing with the, the color green that they have. It just, ugh, it does not match. It's either emerald green or puke green. There's no like lime or anything in between. So let's just take something nice like 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 that. Now windows and front door. Since I took out those two tiles, we should be able to do that and have that be the patio now. Yeah, that's a good idea because I was like, oh shoot, I don't have enough tiles for the patio. So that kind of actually works. I may have to expand this back here for more room. The gym will be outside. The theater will be inside. Okay. No, I may not have to extend it. We'll see. It's not centered. I don't know why it's not centered on the lot. Don't mind me. All right. I think I like how the front is looking of this. I still want to add more columns, pillars, and other details, but I like the look of the windows and think it fits the style. I did use a cottage living door because I think the Strangerville door is more for the interior and I really like the look of the cottage living door. I still think it 
fits the style. So that's gonna go there and let me figure out the rest of the windows. I didn't get to that yet. I just wanted to make sure I got which windows I was gonna use figured out and we did. Let us finish this up next. All right, the windows I think are right. I might adjust them based on where I put like the home theater because obviously I'm gonna have to put a big TV along the wall. And I was thinking of doing that upstairs somehow. I don't know. Or it's going to have to be in one of these corners. And if so, I would like delete this window or delete this window. I don't know yet. The layout is going to be so hard. This is an actual challenge because it's like a tiny house. Wow. Okay. I haven't done a tiny house challenge in a while. So this is actually perfect. The last things I've built have been so big. This is kind of cool. There's our little green 64 tile tiny house for now and we're gonna adjust it as needed as we continue building we must include the home gym which will be outside photography studio and home theater okay let me grab the item just so i know the scale i know the home theater is huge okay we have an in oh my god it doesn't even fit okay i'm gonna have to shrink it I'm gonna have to shrink it. That's like the only way. This is the only way it's gonna work. I could put it upstairs or I put it down here and have it be a centerpiece and then we just delete these windows. Like who needs windows in your house when you have a TV system like that? We may have to use a ladder though because I feel like we're not gonna have the space if we don't use a ladder. So yeah, let's do that. I don't know where we should put the ladder. There? I don't know. I want it in a good spot that isn't in the way. What does the photography look like? I don't even know. I never, I just got the Machino stuff. So what are all the items? Oh God. This may have to be an outdoor photography studio. Is that bad? I feel like that's gonna have to happen. What if, what if it's a outdoor gym photography studio? Because, like, what if that's what they photograph? What if they make YouTube videos? You know, like, I watch YouTube videos for, like, working out and stuff. So, like, what if they did that? So maybe they have an outdoor photography studio for workouts. That would make sense. I'm gonna say that makes sense. So we have the little photography drape. Gonna have to put a couple lights. I don't know. I'll just put a couple for now and we'll put them where we want them later. Just want to make sure I have the actual items. Tripod. Can you put the camera on the tripod? Okay, perfect. I didn't know it would actually connect like that. That's cool. So photography studio will be here. And then fitness stuff. All right, let me find the fitness. There it is. Okay. So I guess we're probably going to want to put stuff like this. I got to figure out a way to get back here though. Like a door. That's also going to be a problem. But at least if we put a couple things here, we'll be good. We probably want the punching bag. Everyone needs a punching bag. Is there a base game punching bag? Yeah, I'm trying to use not every pack, <laughs> even though I'm probably going to end up using a lot of the packs. So whatever. I guess we're going orange. I don't know. What other things would we want to put? A treadmill. Definitely the treadmill. So we'll figure out where to put a door. Probably over here. If we put this further in the corner. And that gives us space to kind of put the lights wherever. Camera can go right there. What if we put the workout thing? I think it would mess it up if we put the workout thing on top of the photo studio. So I'm not going to do that just in case. But the idea is that they'll use this area to, one, have the workouts and record the workouts and all that. So I don't know. Placement wise, it's not great, but it's there. So let's deal with that for now. All right, now that we got the side yard kind of figured out, I think I'm happy with that. I do have a staircase over here with a door because that's the best way to kind of fit in a door without the staircase being in the way over here. And we're still at 64 tiles, so I think we're doing all right. I did have to move the ladder. Though it was a perfect location, it went into the roof. <laughs> and I'm not willing to change the full upstairs to make that work. So ladder might be over here or we might shift it around a little. I don't know how we're going to do this. Two bunk beds and a single bed. Because I don't think anywhere is going to fit. Well, up here could fit a double bed. And then the bathroom, if I could put it here. But that's like you're right in the front of the house. I mean, honestly, it really doesn't matter in The Sims. But I still feel like it kind of does. And I kind of want to put the kitchen here. Wondering if we can somehow squeeze a bathroom on this side, which means a ladder. I don't know about this ladder situation. Okay, maybe it can go over there. 
I mean, we're still at the front of the house, but I feel like this side of the house would make more sense for the bathroom than this side, because it'd be, like, right next to the kitchen area. God, I don't want to make it bigger, but, like, the window situation. I may have to switch the windows out. Hold on. All right, so there's that, and then this one we can center, I don't know, like that, just to have something there. Yeah, it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. All right, so we have our tiny bathroom. I mean, that's all we need, right? Right? Okay, so I'm using the AI in a different way. So I said, I need to decide on a color for my living room wallpaper. And it added, before my client comes. I think I'm still leaning towards a pink. So it gave me pink. We're gonna have a pink living room. There we go. At least for the wallpaper. Not like everything. All right, pink wallpaper, check. I have the paneling mixed with more simple wallpaper because I didn't want the paneling everywhere. I think where it's like half and half, kind of like a, a good mix, but it's still very pink. So thank you for that, AI. Let's see what they think about a flooring for in here. Okay, let me see. We've done all carpeting except the stairs and they are another color. Can't remember what it is right now, so I'll have to check. Okay, so it looks like carpet. I want to do wood, but they said carpet, but they didn't say color. So we're just going to go with um whatever I feel like for carpet. I don't love carpet here. I'm going to do like tile in the area where the kitchen is, but then do carpet everywhere else and hope for the best. Probably a white carpet, honestly. <laughs> and then that would be like the kitchen space would be tiled of some kind. I'm not sure if I want to use that tile. I like that tile. I think we can go with that. Let's figure out the kitchen design. What color are we going to do for the kitchen? I don't know. I guess kind of look and see what we got. Do we have any countertops in Strangerville? We do not have enough countertops in this game. I definitely think we don't. Quite unfortunate. Okay, well... I do love these kit counters, honestly. They are quite good. I don't like how the windows clip on these counters, though. I'm gonna have to pull it out from the wall, which is a little bit annoying, but better than it touching it. The only problem here is where am I gonna put the fridge? Should I put the fridge over here? I could put the fridge over here. Well, if we're going for it, we might as well go with the whole kit, right? Should we do pink or just white? Pink is actually really cute. Or we could do green. Let's do green. You know, like the pink and green kind of cute old style color, I feel like. Like, I wouldn't like it in my house, but I, I think certain people do. Maybe the people here uh like that look. I know they do workout videos and you think this house would be more modern, but it's more expensive to buy modern stuff, okay? At least the counters are pretty simple. They're not like too old fashioned y. Like, I like the look of them. They still look a little bit modern. So we're gonna keep those. I guess we gotta do an oven and a sink. Don't let me forget, an oven and a sink are necessities. Don't like this oven though, it's not quite the look. And this one's too big. Do we have like a skinny, like simple base game oven? They're like too wide because I moved them away from the wall. So they went clip with the window, but you know what? We're gonna clip with the window because I'd rather this look somewhat better. I mean, I can maybe pull it forward. Let's do that at least. Yeah, all right, I fixed it. Beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna do white. <laughs> After all that, we're gonna just stick with white. Keep it simple. I don't want it to be too crazy in here. I'm not gonna spend like a million hours. Oh, hello, bug that's still a thing on the windows. All right, that's fine. But I do want this to get completed with help of the AI. So we're gonna continue asking it questions as necessary. What was the counter that came with it? Oh yeah, that's too old fashioned. No, definitely. I'd rather give them like a nice sink like that. And I think they can prep on the corner countertop, right? All right, and now I decided to build this into a bedroom because I do need a single person's bedroom. It's going to be tiny, but everything in this house is tiny. So I think this works as a spot for that. And then the couple will get the full upstairs. Because if I tried to make this into two bedrooms, it wouldn't work. And here I can just fit this here and it still gives me space to kind of hopefully fit in a dining table somewhere. I don't know yet. And then the living room is going to be the movie theater room because that's the only way I can do it in this house. <laughs> of course, I get like the biggest things in the tiniest house. We're making good progress. I want to ask the AI what color we should do the bedroom though, because I had picked these uh, curtains, but that was when it was out here. So I'm going to change the color. I need to decide what color to paint my bedroom. Let's see if that generates right. It would be this beautiful yellow color with blue shutters. Not the high-tech shutters, the kind they're actually on the wall. What are high-tech shutters? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so I've decided to make the bedroom nice and yellow and pretty and blue shutters. Not shutters. 
but blue curtains, okay? So blue and yellow bedroom, super cute. Now I need to decide what color should my floors be in my bedroom. Let's see if this will work. Torn between yellow cream, not too yellow or too creamy, and brown. I'm not a fan of brown, but I don't want my carpet to be too yellow either. I just love looking at the options. Oh, this AI is great. Okay, so maybe like a cream yellow, which isn't too yellow, isn't too creamy. That's so weird. <laughs> We had that one. That's honestly kind of what I was thinking. We'll just do carpet again in there. I didn't ask for a texture, but I think that's like a creamy, yellowy carpet. Maybe that's what the AI wanted. I don't know. That's fine. Let me finish decorating this room. We're not going to put too much in here, obviously. And then we're going to ask the AI what we should do for the bathroom. I'm like putting off doing this room because like, uh, I'll finish it later. It's fine. All right, we got the single person's bedroom done. I think it's super cute, colorful, bright, vibrant. We got a wall of mirrors to make it look bigger than it actually is. We got some music in here. She can dance around, some incense, some plants. I don't know, the flip-flops seem like they fit in here and a couple Dream Home Decorator paintings. I think that's pretty much it for this room. Gonna move on to the bathroom. Let's see what the AI wants us to do for the wallpaper. Plastic vinyl? Oh no. Okay, stop. 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 That's not. The bathroom should be very subtly decorated. Oh my god, what is this going off on? That's not... Okay, no. We're gonna try again. Ikea. Dark brown paper is the same that's behind the glass doors, but on the back of the door. So when you pull the paper, it pulls up the glass. What? That you hang it from the wrong. So cute. <laughs> okay, okay. We can get some stuff from this, I think. Ikea bathroom. Simple, clean, brown with lots of glass, I guess. I don't know. All right. That didn't help me very much. Thank you. Thank you, AI generator. <laughs> What's an Ikea toilet? And then should we just do spa day for everything else? We're not going to have room for a tub. Going to have to go to the side if we want to fit a sink and a shower. All right, we're doing just a simple crystal glass shower. Shoot, where does it need to go where it's actually accessible? Good question. It could go there, but then the window would have to move. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this window will, will definitely just have to move. Or honestly, I'll probably just delete it. I know it's going to look weird to only have those windows there, but like, we don't need it. Yeah, totally goes there. Nope, it can't go there. Just kidding. <laughs> Toilet has to go in the corner squishied here. Uh, that makes sense. And then the sink. Oh no. Wait, what's the tiny living sink? It's not that tiny. It's not tiny enough. Oh no. How is this gonna fit? I had to extend the bathroom by one tile. Otherwise it wasn't functional with the layout I could get. So there we go. If you wanted to fit the shower, the sink, and the toilet in a four tile, it's like basically impossible unless you do the shower that is one that goes on the wall, but I didn't like that one uh, for this setup, so uh, we just changed the layout of the house. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And we did add dark brown wood, like the AI liked, so that's gonna be that. Flooring, I don't really know. I'm just gonna pick some kind of tile that matches this. Probably something white. Spa Day is really coming to life. I really like Spa Day. I feel like I use a lot of their wallpaper and flooring in a lot of builds, so <laughs> sorry if you don't have that pack. Um, I highly recommend you get it, because it is actually quite good. Do we do brown tile or do we just do white? I think it just do white. I like that. I think that's nice, a contrast with the dark and the bright. Let me finish decorating this because it's not going to be too exciting, but I do want to finish it and make it pretty and we'll show you the result in just a moment. All right, I think I'm happy with the bathroom enough. It is pink and brown. I don't know why. I grabbed this and like the pink swatch against the brown and then everything else that kind of pops in the room is pink as well. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. It reminds me of like chocolate strawberry. I guess maybe I'm craving that right now. I don't know. There's our bathroom. Thank you, AI, for giving us the idea. Oh, hey, look, a door glitch. Now I guess we got to tackle the layout of this. I don't know if I'm going to ask the generator much else for this room, but I will use it for the upstairs room again. So I'm just going to try to work on this and see what we can do to make this fit. Because, yeah, we have to make this look good. <laughs> we may go with... 
I'm thinking dream home decorator, but I'm not sure. I also want to figure out a place for a table for a dining room. That would be useful. I want it to be pretty loungy. Not gonna lie, it does feel like everyone's a little bit close to the TV, but sometimes you just gotta deal with that. And I have no idea where I'm gonna put a dining area unless I made this shorter, but then like I want it so you aren't totally off-centered. Like if it's that short, it's so off-centered feeling, right? I feel like it has to be like that. I knew that was gonna be the problem. If you want this to look good, the dining room situation is probably not gonna really happen unless we figure out something weird. But like, that's not gonna work, you know? Oh God, I wish I had like one more tile of space because like I could make that work, but it's not gonna work with the layout. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. Or we just do a really tiny two-person table. Everyone else just eats wherever. This is a dining table, right? Like, we could make something like this small work, right? Okay, so instead of that, we have this. <laughs> um, still gonna be close. Maybe it could be functional though. Absolutely no guarantees. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it. Don't you worry. And then chairs, if I did two chairs. Oh, this is gonna be in the way. I may have to pick a different couch idea. As much as I wanna do the sectionals, I think I may have to just do a normal couch and a couple chairs, cause it'll fill the space better and allow me to put them a little bit further away from this. I don't know, let's see. I don't like those. <laughs> don't know why I grabbed those. All right, let's do dream home decorator. That, that's gonna have some color, there we go. That looks okay. It's gonna depend on the couch. So let me do that now. Okay, this room is coming together. I think I figured out the seating situation. I mean, you can have a couple friends over. You can move the seats over. There's not a ton of seating. I know it doesn't feel very movie theater, but it is a tiny home movie theater. So we're kind of making it work. I like the look of it. Like, I'm really happy with the aesthetic of this room now. I did put the uh, some movie hangout stuff up, like a mirror and some paintings, and add an extra like surround sound speaker so that you get the full experience of the movie. Yeah, totally. All right, we should probably put like a popcorn machine somewhere too. But like, we don't actually have the counter space for it, which kind of sucks. I would love to, but I guess we won't. <laughs> You're just gonna have to deal without it, okay? Okay. And then I'm gonna finish decorating with a few more cute things done with the bottom floor. Making good progress, I think. So, what do we think of this movie, studio, room, living room, dining room, kitchen room, room? I don't know. I like how it's turned out. Obviously, I wish I had a lot more space to work with, but I don't think it is too bad. So we're probably going to call it there for the downstairs and head upstairs to the final room and see what our AI has to tell us. And I didn't want to put anything here because it would get in the way of the TV. So it's just empty at the top, but I like that it kind of frames the TV area. Going upstairs for the final room of this build. All right, let's hope this AI actually gives us something. The farm smell, but the room needs to be painted and carpeted. What? Uh, okay, let's see. Maybe they'll be fully functional. I shared my room with my sisters. I'm curious where this is going. Give me a color. No closet. Beds pushed together. Well, it's going to be a single two-person bed, so that's like two beds pushed together. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna redo it. Real painting on the wall. Frames and flowers and butterflies. I'm looking at art on Pinterest for quite a while. I have a lot of different prints and canvases, but I've only looked at them briefly. Sketching. They want to start sketching, but not quite sure how they want to. So maybe we can do some like the artist sketch, kind of like an artsy room with a bunch of like pictures on the walls, drawings, flowers, and butterflies. Okay. Let me, let me see if I can pull this off. There is no guarantee that it will be as pretty as they hope, but you know what? The people that are gonna live here, they're gonna deal with it and they're gonna love it. Yes. <laughs> I just put this here for placement. That's not the bed I wanna use. How about, okay, don't judge me, but I'm going very, very floral pattern. Pretty much this wallpaper from the decor to the max hit because I saw it and I was like, that's blue and yellow and it's got birds and flowers. It's actually really pretty. So I'm trying to make this work. Also, there is this floral design that I found in Christmas pack, I guess. 
I don't know exactly what it's for. It looks kind of cool in here and I don't know if I like it or if I'm gonna get rid of it, but I kind of like the idea. Ooh, that actually looks better. Cause like it doesn't work with the ladder. Like I can't make it symmetrical, but this, now this is an option. Kind of really like that. What do you think? I don't know why I keep asking, what do you think? Like there's no way that you're gonna be able to tell me because I'm already done with this. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, I'm not changing it. But I kind of like that. It kind of reminds me of like a rug. We're going with it. We're going with it. All right, we're going to keep it. I kind of want to see if I can keep the bed with no pattern on it. Like just white. Because I think the floral on the bed is too much. That's it. That's the bed. It's got the yellow wood tones to match the yellow kind of. And it's simple. It's white. It's clean. That's perfect. Now to figure out the rest of the decor for this room. Wait, I could put the dresser right here. Yes, yes. Okay. It might be a little bit tight, but I think we can still make it work. All right. I know this room is a lot. It is a lot, but I've was trying to go with the decor to the max stuff, tried to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I think we incorporated the florals. We got the one butterfly thing I could find. I know there's maybe a couple other things, but they're not really gonna work in a bedroom. So we got the butterfly picture there, a little sketch pad so she can draw and some sketches and some other art on the wall there. So yeah, I think that's all right. It's not my favorite, like I would be a little overwhelmed in this room, but I feel like the AI really wanted this, so we're gonna go with it. And downstairs is super cute. Like I actually love the downstairs overall. And then the outdoor area, I didn't get to yet. I'm probably just gonna do the outside um, off the video. And when you get this on the gallery, look up Anna Builds and you will be able to download the build once it's fully finished. But for this video's sake and time, I think we are done with the AI help me build a house challenge. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. They helped a little. I still had a lot of creative freedom because the AI was like weird. I don't know how to work with it that great yet or I didn't have the best AI. I don't know. But maybe we'll do something different in the future with more AI challenges. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you, AI lady, person, man, whoever you were. <laughs> <laughs> for helping us decorate because I think it did turn out pretty interesting and it's like something I would not have thought of to combine all those things to turn it into what it is now so yeah there's our video thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one bye <laughs>